behind every number is a real child, a real family. Their stories are as important as any statistic. I am 37 years old. I have three children. Um, I love to be involved um, in my children's lives. Um, I am my middle child's Girl Scout troop leader. I'm also on policy council of my local Head Start, where all three of my children had their early learning. When my oldest was at um, Head Start and they had done health checks that included hearing screenings, it turns out she needed ear tubes. We do believe that's what created the mixed receptive language disorder. So she is receiving occupational therapy as well as speech therapy. And I believe that if it wasn't for the years that she went through early learning, that it wouldn't have been as easy a transition for her into kindergarten. So now she's in second grade and absolutely thriving. Uh, so my youngest was tube fed. His tube was placed when he was about six months old. Uh, and it was pulled when he was about three and a half years old. He had issues with seeing the other kids eating and being around other kids that weren't like him. They were excellent in giving him time to kind of regulate his emotions, giving him breaks when he needed it. He hasn't technically been diagnosed, but I do believe that my youngest has autism. One of the, the biggest things that we learned for my youngest in early learning was ways to help him regulate his emotions. It's important that I know that he has these issues and so that I can work on ways to help him succeed. I'm currently unemployed. When I was pregnant with my youngest, I had looked into childcare and the cost was going to be 350 per week for just one child and then 150 per additional child. I'm essentially still in the same position of not being able to afford rent or food once I've paid for childcare. Uh, my brother has allowed me and my children to move in, and this is how I'm able to make rent and pay bills and have food on the table. So the benefits that I do receive um, are food stamps and Medicaid. If it wasn't for Medicaid, I wouldn't be able to have the occupational therapy and the speech therapy that my daughter needs. When I was looking at employment, I would have to stay under a certain dollar amount per hour and a certain hour mark during the week or it would push my kids off of insurance and I would have to pay out of pocket and when I last did the numbers it would be about $964 per month for just the premium for my children and that was before childcare. It's a vicious cycle of you want to work, you want to be productive the bottom line is without affordable child care and health care, I won't be able to get off assistance. I don't know if I see an end date. My biggest concern as they grow older and go through their educational career, I'm worried that college will be too expensive and there won't be a trade for them or a place for them. Is their education going to be enough to help them be productive, to help them be on their own and support themselves?